Alright, hey everyone, I uh, wanted to put together a brief tutorial here to discuss a little bit about Shop Talk and you know maybe some of the more important clubs. As you can see here, I have the Holy Driver and the Lightning Rod. It starts showing up, it appears to be somewhere around 900 trophies um, right now with the current setup. And if they keep things the same way, I think it extends to about 2100. So that whole range, you're going to see, you know, definitely into the 21s up until maybe 2200. Um, you're going to see Tour 5s here unless that model ends up getting altered somewhat. But um, what I wanted to just kind of talk about is kind of how important it can be um, for some of these clubs. So, you know, if I was to compare this to Outlaw early on, you can see it's almost a coin flip right now. As soon as the Holy Driver gets up to a five, um, it does start to really develop into, you know, kind of a beastly driver um, for the early going. So when you're progressing through these early tours, um, you know, it is nice to focus on those. Now, if you, you know, can afford to and want to, you know, make in-game purchases to do that, you know, I do kind of recommend it to um, accelerate it. But at the same time, you know, I try to keep my content good for free-to-play players and also ones that, you know, don't mind, you know, spending a little bit on the games that they do love. So um, one of the things that I also wanted to just kind of talk about is kind of the, the stats here. So the reason that I'm starting to progress this lightning rod, one of the things that you're going to see is this max power number is going to max out. So on my main account, I have it built out to a five. And it's a really great tournament club. That power goes to 100, the accuracy goes to 100, and the shot views well into the 80s, the backspin, topspin ends up you know it's it's it looks like they go extend maybe to about 40 35 40 um, and it does slowly build out over time now what that allows you to do is it allows you to have when you can hit it to specific ranges and the pin isn't really that tucked and you don't need a lot of high spin we can really try to focus on a precision shot to win the holes it's similarly if you can get into a tour and use it um, in replace of something like Bigfoot or Extra Terrestrial, which you see a lot of other guys using, it's going to um, it's going to have more of that accuracy. If you do hit a great ball, you may still win the shootout if your opponent because the precision is going to be more. It's not going to deflect quite as much. Now. One of the things I did want to talk about is Iron Maiden here. So this is going to build out very similar to Lightning Rod. So in the early going until you can get that Lightning Rod progressed, if, if you're a Tour 6 player and you can unlock that Iron Maiden and get that to start working, this is going to play very similar to the Lightning Rod. The only difference, the only key difference being it's going to give up this power attribute. So it is going to top out around the 170 range. It's going to be more in the big Bigfoot. But I think that the lightning rod, I believe it ends up extending into the 180s, like 185 if I remember. It's, it's well up there um, on that power. So what that does is it bridges that gap. So the woods and the long irons, it's going to create it to where there's really no gap. So it's really going to fill that club distance for you. So that's one of the important reasons why I like lightning rod so much. It's very similar to extraterrestrial. You can see extraterrestrial already in the 180s. It's never going to get that accuracy. It's never going to get that shot view quite as much. But um, the, the biggest thing is giving up that accuracy if you're using. But it does get a little bit more of the spin. So extraterrestrial does serve its purpose as well. Um, additionally to that, here you can see I don't have Spectre. I'm almost getting to the point, you know, that I'm thinking about just trying to, you know, go to the store here and just kind of bulk unlock these. Um, and the reason is because once I actually get something rolling and get it open, 
then it's going to start coming in more readily. So if I was to, you know, and let's just say, you know, I'm not spending, let, let's say you're doing a lot of pin chests. The developers have really put a lot of time into the pin bag design. It's very, it's very good in my opinion. They just started putting in to where you can get balls, the special balls that are the pay balls. And also it can be really any club in the game that comes in there. Um, I've only seen the only exception that I've seen so far is Tour 7, the yellow cards that are Tour 7. But everything else seems to be free game that can be in the pin, pin bag. So if you're grinding this game and doing, you know, 100 holes a day, a couple hundred holes, you're filling this 12, you know, 7, 12, 12 times a day, um, you're really going to progress your bag fast. So that's one way to really grind out games. Same with the free bag. The free bag is very, a very nice algorithm um, that they've de designed for the free bag. Now it only gives you one item, but it can be a broad range. You know, on my main account, I get fusion a, a lot from both of those. And, and similarly with other, you know, big clubs, they just tend to like kind of cycle or rotate through a little bit and, um, you know, you'll, you'll end up seeing a lot of your bag just kind of, you know, oh, it's a way for you to freely get that. But, you know, if you can't afford it and you want to accelerate your bag a little bit, you know, just wanted to, you know, talk about that and just kind of go over kind of the important clubs. And you can see I'm trying to get that holy driver up right now. Of course, if I get I am root to show up in the shop, I, I, I'm really trying to get this up as well. I might fall back and do Stingray because this is a very well-balanced club. You can see the attributes here. So I might do the same thing with what I'm doing for Lightning Rod. Right after I'm done Lightning Rod, try to do the same thing for this Stingray. As you can see how balanced it is. The power number goes up. Accuracy goes almost max. Shot view goes almost max. So that's another key club I want you guys to, uh, you know, just kind of take note of here. And again, you know, the Spectra. So I'm hoping... You know, when I recycle through this Tour 5 stuff for the next couple days, maybe I'll get the, the Spectra start going because this is going to be a key backspin club. And that is a really good tournament club. It's a very good Tour club. It's just an all-around beast. Um, so definitely wanted to just kind of mention that. You can see I actually got Voodoo before Ninja. And how did I get the Voodoo? From the free bag. This is showing you, you know, those Tour 7s, they can pop up at any time. So making sure that you're logging in the app every four hours is a critical thing and when you do that you can get those tour sevens to unlock now again you know the only thing that i haven't so you know i can get this hive because it's also a green one the only thing that i haven't seen to date is these tour sevens so the only way that i've seen these is in platinums and um the diamond like a di like a diamond tour seven from the shop and those are the only two places that I've seen those to show up. But that's not to say it's always going to be like that. So, you know, just kind of keep keep this video as, you know, a, a grain of salt. You know, things are always prone to change. And especially, you know, if the developers want them to change. They're, they're really doing a great job at keeping up and putting out new, fresh ideas. They're listening to um, their members and updating a lot you know they've, they've already done so many bug fixes since i've been in the game all you know almost about two months now and there's so much work and progress on a weekly basis going into this game um i think you guys you know if you uh, are willing to you know put the time in i think you're going to be really satisfied with this game in the long run so keep all that in mind good luck um and uh you know once the tournament comes around this weekend i'm going to try my best to do some more content and we can talk a little bit more about that ball to club uh you know for each of the shots and really um finding the keys to making good tournament performance. So be on the lookout for that. Good luck out there, and I'll see you guys on the next video.